Hi guys, Virtus Education here with the 18th video of the Unreal Development Kit Beginner Series. And in this video, I'm going to be going over material animation inside of the material editor. So in the previous few videos, uh, I've actually been going over um, uh, material creation using the material editor inside of UDK uh, in the form of diffuse, specular, normal, and <coughs> emissive. And in the previous video, I actually said I'm going to be moving out of that section. However, I, um, I actually forgot to go over material animation, so I won't be moving out of it. This is actually going to be the last uh, type of material animation. Uh, sorry, the last material editor video, uh, which I'm actually going to be showing you how to do material animation inside of UDK. So if you actually take a quick look inside of my viewport at the moment, you can actually see that I've got a little cube here that isn't rotating at all, but in fact the material applied to that cube is actually rotating itself. So if you get a closer look, all it is is essentially just a very basic emissive, um, uh, emissive map just being, uh, just panning across the material and uh, just kind of going around it and that's essentially what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Keep in mind I'm not going to be going over any of the crazy stuff like uh, changing, the, uh, changing the color based on time or um, you know all that crazy crazy stuff. I'm just going to be going over the very basics uh, in the form of rotators, panners, um, you know how to apply them to uh, you know your different uh, different textures inside of uh, your material editor, and uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. So let's get into this. So let's kind of look up. Uh, uh, let's have a look at what I've actually got here to you know control this thing. So uh, let's just go down and uh, locate our material, and you can see I've actually made a separate material dedicated to uh, actually being animated. The setup is essentially pretty much the same as uh, what we had before and what we've been creating in the previous few videos with normal, specular, emissive, and diffuse. So, you know, let's just go ahead and uh, talk about some of the different nodes which we're going to be working with. So, to animate our stuff inside the material editor, for now, we're just going to be essentially using rotators and panners. These essentially just move your texture across the screen. So you can see I've actually already got a panner inside of the material editor at the moment. So I'm just going to quickly delete this and you will see that it essentially goes back to just a normal static uh, material which looks sexy but uh, doesn't move. You know, so we have to kind of build this up from the ground. Uh, so let's begin by getting in some of the uh, nodes that I've been talking about. Firstly we've got the panner and secondly we've got uh, the rotator. And also I'd like to say that you can actually apply these uh, nodes to any type of texture inside a UDK. However obviously you know you might not want to necessarily apply it to something like a, uh, a specular. So let me show you what that's gonna do. It's gonna do some weird uh, it's weird stuff, look at that. You know, the specular, the shininess on here is actually rotating. You really, really don't want to necessarily be doing that. What you might want to do, however, is maybe rotate the diffuse a bit like this. Looks a bit trippy, but, uh, you know, it works nonetheless, and you can actually do this, uh, with the specular as well, so you can just tie those together. But for now, I'm just going to be actually applying that to my emissive, as, uh, you know, it kind of works like a sort of advert sign thing, whatever you want to do. So, let's just go ahead and hook up the panner to my texture sample, and you can actually see nothing has happened yet. So what we need to do is go ahead and click it, and you can see we've got two parameters here for the panner, which is the speed, uh, uh, firstly for the x-axis and secondly for the y-axis. So let's go ahead and experiment with this. With this, If we press 2 on the speed x-axis, you can see it's going to go from right to left at a speed of 2, whatever that is. And if we set it to y, uh, to 2, it's going to go up and, well, it's just going to go straight up, I believe. So I'm just going to quickly set this uh, x to 0 so we can just see it going straight up. So if I actually go ahead and press uh, apply to this and have a look at it inside of the viewport, Port, you can see it's just going up. I'm just going to slow this down so you can see it better. Uh, but um, yeah, that's essentially what a panda does. It just moves it 
uh, in a certain axis so you can actually move it left right up or down do whatever you want whether it's a sign you can even use this uh, panner for a skybox which is something that you usually do you just make it pan around your little sphere that you have and looks relatively sexy you can also pan around uh, things like clouds and so on with this so the other node I want to show you here is the uh, rotator node this is very very similar to um, the panner as uh, it just kind of moves uh, the emissive or whatever texture sample you are using so if I apply that you can actually see it does start moving it by default and uh, yeah let's go ahead and look at some of the properties the properties are very very similar to the panner in the sense that you got speed and then the different axes that you wanted to uh, rotate on so that's pretty much everything for the rotator so you should know how to use panners and uh, and rotators now so I'm just going to show you one last thing uh, well not necessarily one last thing I'm just going to show you how you can use this uh, on your diffuse and your specular together just to show that you can actually apply these uh, nodes to two different uh, texture samples a bit like so so just hook, the, hook this up I believe you can do this and yes you can and you can actually see that both my speculate and my diffuse is actually moving in synergy which is pretty cool it's working together and uh, yeah that's pretty much everything I really wanted to go over uh, try having a little experiment with your uh, panners, rotators, maybe even play around with things like lerps. Material animation is a relatively cool subject and I greatly advise checking it out as it can add some real life to your models, levels, whatever. So thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!